Hello guys, this is Michael. Today I'm going to be showing you ways you can actually minimize the amount of space that is being occupied by your WhatsApp. I mean, how you can set up or configure your WhatsApp so that it doesn't download pictures and videos without your knowledge or without your concepts. Alright, believe me, lots of us belong to different WhatsApp groups and in to most of these groups most times you see videos that are so disgusting maybe pictures that you don't even care you don't even need to see those pictures like it pisses you off and you just come up and you find out that the space the space on your phone is already finished probably you don't even have much data and uh, because you don't have much data the little one you're trying to manage is being consumed because of auto downloading of images and videos okay so in this video i'm going to take you on a very short steps that you can use to configure your whatsapp all right okay so without any further ado let's just dive in here is my whatsapp and for you to start setting first of all there are things that you need to uh, take note of here now just tap on these three dots here at the top right corner of your whatsapp okay and then move down to settings now once you move to settings here, you can see that we have uh, privacy, security and all that's under account. We have chats and notifications, we have data storage and usage. And uh, this is where you really need to come to. Data and storage usage, okay. When, when you come to this page, actually you can see the network usage and the, it's actually calculating my storage now to see what and what uh, I've actually used in my in, 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 uh, in the recent time okay now um coming down here you see media auto download now by default by default whatsapp tends to download audio voice notes audio voice notes that's right? voice notes is being downloaded automatically that one there's no way you can stop that this is to ensure smooth conversation it's also written here voice messages are always auto downloaded for the best communication experience all right so um but for photos for videos you can decide when whatsapp should download them now if you are the type that um, is always connected to wi-fi and you've got a lot of spaces on your phone that you don't care like you have up to 128 gigabytes or that two gigabytes on your phone storage you can decide to do some settings here under the uh to download you can decide to auto download media files when you're connected to wi-fi here all right like to me what i do when i'm connected to wi-fi you can see photos audios videos and documents can be downloaded whether i am whether I'm, i even open my whatsapp or once i come close to where there is wi-fi everything starts to happen i personally set it that way i like it that way then at the end of the day i can choose the videos i don't want and i can delete some this is because most times i wouldn't want to use my data to download some crazy there are some videos that i may wish to watch but wouldn't want to download them with my own data now on your own mobile data too like me i felt it that it's only my photos that i need like once there's photo it can easily download it will just automatically download i don't need to tap on it but in a situation whereby you don't want photos to be downloaded anymore you can just uncheck this now by unchecking this all these things here it simply means that with on my with my own mobile data once an image is sent it remains there i can come and then tap on the image before it downloads that that means it's giving me the choice to choose which image i would like to download so if you're in a group and lots of images and videos are coming in and you don't like them it's very simple just come to this place and disable all these things so that you'll be the one to choose when you want to download you can see now when using mobile data no media can be auto downloaded all right so no matter what happens now if i should come back to my whatsapp let's say someone sends a message on my whatsapp uh it's not really going to download okay so once you are done with it just come here and go back all right now uh, if maybe let's say for example some some videos are here already you can see this video is here 
it until I tap on this download button that it is going to download. That's because I didn't set the video to auto download. But if there are images that have been sent so far, like you can see the image is auto downloaded. Okay, I don't need to tap on it to download it. That was because initially all these messages have been here before I started shooting this video. All right, so that's because I've already uh, initially that was why I set it. So all images are auto downloaded on my phone, and the videos are just the things that I have to shoot or decide. So let me go back and set up my my stuff. That's the way I I prefer keeping my I prefer downloading images automatically now also note that the moment you disable uh, photo downloading on your the moment you, you disable photo download on your whatsapp our, uh, stickers will no longer be auto downloaded also because stickers come into your phone in form of pictures too if you have noticed it once you get to your gallery on that whatsapp media you will notice that most of the stickers you see are in form of photos stored on your phone so by disabling photo auto download it means that including stickers won't be downloaded without your notice you only be the one to choose when you want to uh, download it and when you don't want to download it okay so I hope this video is helpful thank you so much for watching or maybe in the next video I'm gonna show you how you can turn your whatsapp team to uh, black like this my own and do some other private settings there's two-step authentication and all to secure your whatsapp from hackers thanks and remember